not morning yet. That is. That's enough of seeing on the written bed. I don't know how many times they've caught him in bed. <laughs> in the forest of Snoopy Main Common. She likes her place, and she didn't see many people. Sometimes working in the forest can be very lonely, she thought. One day she was visiting Greendale. She was gone. for the day, are you? he asked. Well, I'm visiting the windmill to collect flour, said Tilly. I see well, I'm doing the express. Just turn around. Tilly was thinking about what she liked to do with the express. I like to pull a big train just for a change. This once. She went home to do her branch line. She saw a problem in a fence playing near one of the trees. What are you three doing? asked Teddy. Hey, oh, hello, Teddy. This is the wishing tree. We're making a wish. <gasps> a wishing tree? How oh, wonderful! Do you think it will make my wish come true? It might. Give it a try. Tilly rolled up to the wishing tree. She took a deep breath and made a wish. As hard as he could, she called. 
I wish I can do the express work for one day, she said. The next day, she did the express. The express was to be taken to the docks to collect incoming people. That was easy for her. She coupled up and set off. She arrived at the docks. <whistles> All aboard, she whistled. It took the seats until it went off to Tunnel. Pony Express trains is a grand job, <laughs> he chuckled. She was finished and went home. That went well. I love Pony Express. Just for one day. She knew Gordon was doing it next day. She took the stone to the docks. She was about to leave when she suddenly got rudely interrupted. The fat controller came up. You're not allowed to take the express. Gordon told me they were taken from you when he was finished with the goods. Sorry, sir, said Teddy. She thought a change of work, like doing the express as well. But it didn't when Gordon suspected it. I don't think my wish came true properly. I've got my own coaches. Perhaps I'll do the express run next day. The next day, Teddy collected people to go to Perth. She hoped it would go well. Having thought about her mistake, she decided not to get into trouble. She took them to Perth. What? Then chanted them to get home when the job was finished. Suddenly, she saw Henry come up with the fat controller again. You're not supposed to take Henry's train either, he said. If you don't take anyone's jobs, I'll have to grant you. Sorry, sir. I only wanted to make my wish come true. She told him about the wishing tree. As I said to Henry, wishing trees don't run railways. That's my job. You can take an express train if one of the big engines has broken down. Teddy did her stonework. She still visits the tree, but she knew too that trees don't run railways. She wished she could not make a mistake of taking an express when someone else is taking it, just in case.